Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. This video is my take on the second order linear differential equation from CyberMath. So we have x squared y double prime is equal to y, right? So for this, since this is the second order linear differential equation, so you're looking for y is equal to, um, say, x to the power of p. Then we can talk about some properties of this, right? So what we are looking for is, now we can set your y of x is equal to x to the power of now p. Then the property is now y prime x is now p times x to the power of p minus 1, which means if you multiply x on the left and right hand side, right, then we will have x times y prime x is the same as p times x to the power of p. Okay, then what if you get your second derivative? So y double prime x is going to be then your p times p minus 1 times x to the power of p minus 2. If you multiply x squared on the left and right hand side, then we will have x squared y double prime x is equal to p times p minus 1 times just x to the power of p. Okay, this is just the properties that we need to focus on. So going back to our question, x squared y double prime is equal to y, then we are looking for this y is equal to x to the power of p. Then we can use this initial equation or Euler characteristic equation. So our case now, we have x squared y double prime on the left hand side. So it is going to be the same as now, x squared, and then y double prime is p times p minus 1, and then x to the power of p minus 2 which is equal to y, that is, x to the power of p. So that's why from this case, we can easily say your p times p minus 1. This needs to be equal to 1. So that's why we can solve this quadratic equation for the p. So it should be then p squared minus p is equal to 1, which is the same as p squared minus p minus 1 is equal to 0. Quadratic formula. So if you're using quadratic formula for this, then your p has to be equal to now negative b, that is 1 plus minus square root of b squared, which is 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 over 2. So this is going to be 1 plus minus square root of now just a 5 over 2. Okay, so based on this, we can represent the general solution for this question, right? So now your general solution has to be uh, y is equal to a times x to the power of one of this, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and plus b times x to the power of conjugate of this, which is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, where a and b are constant. So this is your final and general solution for this differential equation. Okay, so pretty interesting differential equation. So I'll be back with more videos and more questions like this sometime soon.